Hey, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Sean, aka Sean Night 3000. What's going on with y'all out there in YouTube land? Anyway, it is Tuesday afternoon, 1.22 p.m. here in the city beautiful. And right now, according to the car temp, it is already 80 degrees outside. 80 degrees in the city beautiful. <sighs> you know, it got up to 80 yesterday. But I don't think I noticed it because it gradually rose to 80. When I came outside this morning, it was like 60 something degrees. I hate to say this, but today is the first day in a very, very long time that I actually thought, damn, it's too hot outside. Go figure. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting on summer to finally get here. And the first back to back 80 days of the year. I'm bitching and moaning already about the fact that it's too hot outside. But anytime you got to run the AC, it's hot. So if wherever you are in this great big world, I hope it's nice and beautiful and not raining, not snowing, not doing any of that crazy stuff. Like yesterday, a little bit downstate, hailstorms. The size of golf balls were coming down and damaging people's cars and things like that. Even though it was still beautiful outside, it was like in the 60s. But hailstorms, was, hail balls were still coming down and damaging people's cars. It just goes to show you just how crazy weather can really be, huh? As for me today, I'm still going for that bonus. Uh, Uber has decided to introduce two bonuses per week. Uh, the first one is if you do 35 trips between Monday and Thursday night, Friday morning. I think it's like 4 a.m. Friday morning. You earn a bonus. And then Friday and Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, if you do 20 trips, you earn an additional $40. So I am going for those bonuses this week. I went for them last week. I made a video about that. Uh, I made the, the total number, but because I had a cancellation, that kind of knocked me out of one of the bonuses, but I still made the, the one on Saturday. I didn't even work Sunday. Uh, I made that, I did those 20 rides, 10 on Friday. No, no, I think it was nine on Friday and 11. No, no, no. It was eight on Friday. I only did eight trips on Friday. Because I got lazy and I just decided to call it quits, go home. And so I just made it up. I did 12 on Saturday. And by the way, if you did see that video, I did make it to the barbecue. Yes, I did. So I finished up about three, about 308. I made my last drop. And I didn't start like super early. I came out about nine o'clock. Saturday morning, but it was just like almost non-stop all day. And by I picked up my last order at like 250, I think it was like 257, 258. And by the time I got to the residence to drop it off, it was like three, 308, something like that. So I made my my uh bonus. I turned off the app, zoomed to the barbecue. And had a great oh shit it's hot sorry about that it's hot as hell in the car and things are well i'm not telling you guys anything that you shouldn't already know i had to turn the ac off so i could hear myself on the camera and when things get hot in the car things don't stay in place i've got this sticker thing that you can attach the camera to and when it get hot, you know how shit sends, how adhesives tend to lose their their adhesiveness when it gets hot. Take a picture of me, damn it. It'll last longer. I hate when people just stare and stare and stare. It's like, in this day and age, so many people are making videos. So many people are doing vlogs. And this isn't like brand new. 
YouTube has been around forever. Vlogging has been around for, well, not forever, but close to. And yet, if people see you walking down the street and you got your selfie stick attached to your camera, they look at you like you like, what the fuck? What is he doing? What is who is he talking to? He's, he's talking to his camera. What's going on? And then you see people ducking, try to get out of the way, and then of course you see just the opposite. You see jackasses trying to get in and photobomb you because they think you're taking a selfie or something instead of making a video. And they get in there and uh, all this old dumb shit. And it's like, but usually the people that stare at you, that give you those long stares, they're usually like older people. So maybe there's, maybe that's the excuse that they're not so up on technology. Maybe they're not up to date on, on vlogging and YouTube, but damn, I'm not a young guy myself. And yet I know about these things and I've known about them from the beginning. But it's just weird that people look at you like you've lost your damn mind when they see you making a video. It's one of the reasons why I kind of stopped making videos with me just walking around. Because so many people were just like, what is he doing? What's going on? Did, did something happen? Maybe that has something to do with the fact that I was in my uniform back then. And I would try to make videos while I was doing my rounds. Two birds, one stone. But it's just like, damn. Okay, I think heat is starting to affect the camera because I got the little... I got the little viewer out and I can see that the the image is slowing down. I think it's the heat because it's beaming straight onto the, the dash where the camera is at. So if you lose the sink, you know why. It's just hot as hell in the city beautiful. And that's wonderful. I've seen a lot of naked or half ass naked women today. Chicago's not that far gone. I've seen a bunch of half-naked ass women today. In fact, it was this one chick that was so fine, I damn near drove into the back of this guy in front of me. Like, damn. Like, wake the fuck up. You know, like, what is going on? Like, I'm just looking and looking and looking and looking and looking, and this guy in front of me has stopped. He stopped at the light. And I didn't even notice the light had changed from green to red. That's how hard I was staring at this chick. Like, god damn, she looked good. Mother. Uh, and damn it good thing i got good brakes and good reflexes because i hit the brake real hard and the car jerked to a stop with that scary sound and i could see the dude looking at his rear view mirror like what the fuck i would be doing that too but i didn't hit him but damn she was mesmerizing me she was mesmerizing me with that big ass and big titties she had the combo she had the two-piece combo meal on the ass. Yeah, she was nice looking. She had her hair pulled back into a ponytail. Nice tits. No bra, obviously, because she was jiggling freely. And a nice ass. Like, damn, bro, you the total fucking combo meal. Shit. I mean, that's a two-piece with fries and a biscuit right there. Like, now nah, damn. Make a man almost damn near run into the back of somebody else's car. But that's what happens when the weather gets nice. Girls come out half-assed naked. Accidents happen. Shit. But, you know, I didn't even have an idea for this video. I don't know what I'm going to call this, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Anyway, enjoy the weather, you guys. I, I had nothing else to say. Enjoy the weather. Wherever you are, you guys be safe. Take care of each other. And watch out. Because half-naked women, guys behind the wheel, you might get run over. <laughs> you, you might get run over trying to cross the street. So just be careful, you know. And I'll see you guys next time. In, in the interim, uh, just look both ways. It's real, it'd be real careful before you go out into the streets, you know. Because if there's a hot girl... You might get run over by accident. I'm just saying. You got to stay up and stay safe. Peace.